I don't know why, I think I was just hatching eggs, just randomly. Oof, qua! I don't even, like, what was I doing? I don't know. I, maybe I was trying to get battle Pokemon ready, but I wasn't even doing their stats at that time yet. Anyway, it was a Cleffy with little green ears, and I was like, that's possible! And so then I had to get a Blastoise, and then I probably had like 20 or 30, so not very many, maybe even a little, maybe a little less or a little bit more. But, did he just burn me? Oh, poison me. Shake it off, Growlithe! Shake it off! <laughs> Make it easy! Um, so yeah, I don't really remember where I was going with that. So, we'll just come back to the point here. Sorry if in the video, because I really forgot what I was talking about. If I was trying to make a point or talk about something. Oh, just Clefable and Cleffy. So that was pretty much it anyway. Three Haunters now? Come on. I'm like really taking my time. So, and Clefable's legit because it has use now too. Since it's like, since it's normal fairy or just fairy. It had, when I was playing it in XY, I think is when I actually got it. That was when Fairy is introduced, and Clefable, that was kind of its prime time. It was awesome. So, still have it, still kicking around in one of my cartridges somewhere until probably the end of this year, the end of 2019, they'll come out with another new Pokemon game. And I've played a lot of these, I've played a lot of uh, Let's Go Eevee, and I'm doing a playthrough of Let's Go Pikachu, so... I've played a lot of this, but I know in the last video I did mention it just kind of makes me sad that there's a shelf life. So you can still always play it and enjoy it. I, I do get that, but still makes me sad. Something fell out. Like an evil spirit. I should... My character should be like on Mob Psycho 100, man. He should be... I've been exercising all these evil spirits. Kiki ki 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 that reminds me of Zergling Rush, StarCraft style. I'm challenged by Chandler Jennifer. Jennifer is one of my sister's names. And she sent out Haunter. Come on, Poison Growlithe. Shake off that poison. I'm going to keep battling you until you shake it off. So we'll have to go back downstairs, and then we'll get some, we'll get some healing. And that's all, right? <clears throat> oh, man. Growlithe. You're getting pwned. You cannot run the gauntlet in here. He's been useful though. Pretty much did all of the grass gym all on his own. And then just wrecking the tower. I do have to heal him a lot. Key! <laughs> More money as payment. You don't remember agreeing to this, but the demon that was possessing you said that they would pay me after I got rid of them. I don't know why, but it's the weirdest thing. Oh, Growlithe is puzzled. Oh, keen on the newfound Pokeballs. Yeah, I took a screenshot. That's like the third one of the video, okay? Instead of the 20th. We do need some heals. Oh, I remember having a poison Pokemon and it would blip on the screen. Because every like second step you take, you're, it would weaken your Pokemon just a little bit more. And you'd just try to get back to the Pokemon Center before they passed out. Especially if it's your last Pokemon. Then you black out, and I think you lose money anyway. Black out, white it out, whatever. Destruction, despair. I can get on board with that, I guess. I mean, he is going to take over Team Rocket. What's up, Angelica? So she's got three. How much do you want to bet, or guess, that she's going to have probably another Ghastly and another Haunter? It's funny that 20 years ago... Well, they didn't think about how big Pokemon is going to be, and I don't think they cared that much, but it is pretty funny how you have an entire area of the game just dedicated to ghost-type Pokemon, and there's only three in the game. So it's funny to me that... Um, I just actually thought of another Pokemon episode, that's why I paused. That one where there's the... in the first season, there's two giant, like, old... they're, like, kind of... I want to say totem Pokemon, even though that's like sacrilege now that there's the new season of Pokemon, but the giant Gengar versus the giant Alakazam, they're these ancient Pokemon, they're gonna like destroy the world because they were awakened. Anyway, just funny that they didn't come up with maybe a fourth, like, so 
you could count all Ghastly Haunter and Gengar kind of in the same group, so you'd think that they didn't come up with like a second Pokemon or a third in this grouping that they have. I'm okay with it. I just thought it's funny because it's super hard to predict that we're going to fight more Ghastlies and that we're going to fight more um, Haunters. I don't think we're going to see a Gengar. And I will say in the first game that these guys were definitely harder to fight in the first one because there was no dark type to really counter ghost and psychic. You got a hundred thousand for winning. You got three Pokeballs. Yeah, what is Ghost weak to? I don't I think I remember Ghost being super effective against Psychic, but I don't remember if Psychic is super effective against Ghost. I know Psychic is good against Poison, and I know Ghastly and Gengar and all those guys are half poison, so there's that. Found a reviv. Let's get that reviv in there. <laughs> and um Anyway, gotta heal again. It's easy, it's convenient, it's right here. Oh, I thought something else weird happened because it went all... Like, it seemed like all the effects came in or I didn't notice the effects, so after I healed and all that fog came through again, I was like, whew, my hair didn't fall out. It was a malevolent spirit. Okay. More items. Found the hipper potion. Because he's so hip. What does Growlithe have to say about that? Oh, Growlithe is so cute and adorable. He's being so respectful. Who wants to fight me? I'm sorry for the screenshots, okay? <laughs> Be gone, thought. Be gone. Oh, so close. Intruders. <laughs> That's cool. That just reminds me of something that would be in um, Luigi's Mansion. More than it would be in Pokemon. Maybe they'll do a throwback Easter egg or something and have a, have a ghost like there. Use the thing! Use the thing you used last time! Man, that kid is just a freaking wanker. <laughs> oh, like kind of a legit cutscene? That's kind of cool. It's pretty cool. Sorry for screenshots. Should get rid of my camera. Oh, it's Murrowick. Oh, whoops. Well, that's a cool screen, a cool screenshot too. You just want to remember this forever. And yeah, I'm recording it. I'm talking over it like a big freaking dong hole, though. Oh, Cubone and Mother reunited. See ya. I never wanted you anyway, son. Just kidding, that's mean, I guess. She's like, ew, you found me, I'm leaving. <laughs> the true form of the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calmed, returning to its kind and gentle nature. Uh, in the original one, I had to fight it and whoop it, and I did, and that's what chilled it out, and it left. It was way more hardcore. It departed into the afterlife and disappeared. Cubone, you, uh, you. Just came here because you wanted to see your mom again, huh? Q. Sorry for thinking your mom was scary, Cubone. Digital, I don't want to keep. I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. What does that mean? I'm gonna take it home. Oh, that's what he means. <laughs> oh, if there's someone named Fuji upstairs, do you think you could see him? Could see him home too? <laughs> you sure you're okay by yourself? Uh, I'll be fine. I'm with Cubone after all. You've gotten pretty gutsy, haven't you, Digital? Yeah, because I'm not stupid. Just kidding. What? You rescued Cubone from Team Rocket? When did you go and get that strong? Yeah. Yep. Right. Well, then I guess I'll leave this up to you, Digital. Come on, Cubone. Cubone didn't say if it wanted to be with you or not, you dick. You're just going to kidnap the Cubone again and force it to fight some f violent acts against other Pokemon? You disgust me. <laughs> uh, hardcore tangents. Well, this is nice. Uh-oh. Jesse, stop right there. We'll be going first. With that specter out of the way, we can finally get to the top. Well, that makes more sense. Jesse, you're the old user they call Mr. Fuji, right? You're going to be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. Mr. Fuji. Seems like he's a little comatose. Ignore us all you like. We're used to it. We won't take no for an answer. 
You'll help the boss whether you want to or not. Well, I guess that means I'm going to go destroy them. Gramps here thinks he can resist, so we're setting him straight. You better disappear, twerp. We're prepared to fight! Team Rocket, get wrecked! Dun, ba, dun, 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 dun. There are Ash's real companions. Oh, that's funny, he's holding the... He had to hold... What? Why did James have to hold the rose in his mouth while he threw his Pokeball? Why couldn't he just hold it in one hand and then... It's not my place, you know? It's just not my place. Okay, that's gonna hit everybody. So, what's my ground-type Pokemon again? Rhyhorn, huh? Nido King doesn't know anything useful yet. He does, but not... Looks like he only knows Drill Run. And Drill Run, I think... One hit KO, but... It won't do us any good, so... Okay. Let's do Heat Wave, I guess. Oh, that's gonna hit both of them. Okay. And Pidgeot? Why don't you just use Wing Attack? Oh, Pidgeot needs to know Air Slash bad. As soon as Pidgeot learns Air Slash, it'll be useful. Oh, no. Okay, good. It's just on Pidgeot. Heat Wave! Wow, that didn't do as much as I thought it would. Ouch! Holy crap! We don't really have a choice, do we? Can't just send Mr. Mime out like that right now because Mr. Mime will get hit with a sludge bomb and he'll cry his way to sleep. So... Maybe... Pidgeot will break out of his paralysis. Oh, my guy doesn't seem to really care. He's... I need to be more confident like him. <laughs> Maybe you paralyzed my guy. I don't care. Poison jab? That was a good switch in. And he didn't stay paralyzed. And we're done with Arbok. Good, good, good. Okay. Nice, but also level 32. I can appreciate that. Your party Pokemon also got some. Mr. Mime's up to level 36. Legit. Light Screen. Uh, what does Light Screen do again? It's a little bad. Taking up time battling. Light screen, a wondrous wall of light put up, reduce damage from special attack for five turns. He's just a good support character, isn't he? This is... That's kind of cool. Encore is good if they're trying to set up, so you can take him down. Psybeam. So, Psybeam is 65. Confusion is 50. So, let's just forget Confusion, right? Because Psybeam is just the better version of it. Okay. This might be the wrong thing, but I feel like that's probably good to have light screen. Try to reduce some damage coming in. And reflect. Oof. Reflect is for physical moves. You know what? Let's just not. I can... I can go back and reteach it to him later. Physical moves, I probably need to be protected more against special moves, but I don't want to waste time thinking about what his moveset should be, and it'll probably be totally different. See, I'll try to do Drill Run, but I don't think he's going to hit. So, we're just going to keep hitting with some wing attacks, but Pidgeot will probably get paralyzed this time. Ooh, I was wrong to doubt you, Pidgeot. You're amazing. Lunk. Oh, no way, it hit. Go to sleep, Weezing. I gotta, I gotta check the accuracy on that because I know it's not good. I swear it's one hit KO. Unless I'm thinking of a different one. Yeah, peace out, Jesse and James. What do you want? You'll regret this! And <laughs> James is always so angry. I love it. He's so mad. Ugh, seriously, again? Looks like Operation Stealthily Kidnapped Fuji is a bust. Then... Don't you, don't you think I know that? Oh, it'll be fine. We just have to help out with Takeover Silco in Saffron City. Jesse James looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. So maybe I couldn't have done Saffron City until I came back and did this. So it's good I didn't waste any time. Well, let's check on Mr. Fuji. Oh, let's see what Pikachu wants. Come on. Come on, Pikachu. If you want to come out, come on. Why? 
Why does Pikachu care? We just freaking beat up Team Rocket again. Like it's our job, because it is. Oh, and who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket? Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were here. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Looks like I don't get a choice. He's just going to take me there. Mr. Fuji. So digital. Your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, it will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will be this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. We got the Pokeflute from Mr. Fuji. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to get some Snorlax action. And he is the other best normal type Pokemon, in my opinion. You do have Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. Those are useless. You put the Pokeflute in your bag. Upon hearing the Pokeflute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokemon. Okay, I will. So, let's see what these guys have to say. Mr. Fuji went to try to bring the piece to the ghost of Marowak. Yeah, yep, I do know that. Ah, oh, it's so warm. Pokemon are so cuddly and nice to hug. I didn't think... I would not think that Psyduck of all Pokemon would be warm and cuddly. Little girl, I see your paintings in the background, and they're horrible. <laughs> Just kidding. Go <laughs> whack. Okay, so there we go. There you have it. That was Pokemon Tower. I won't waste any more time. That was fun. I just get caught off on these tangents, just talking about what Pokemon games I'd like or what my favorite Pokemon are. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I hope it was good and fun. It was for me. I'm enjoying this a lot, and I'm just getting a little anxious to get the story moving forward. So thanks again, guys, for watching, and I will see you again next time.